you got something new, something exciting, something that can save you tons of time in liquid flow. It can look at all your candidate profiles and craft summaries. It can write a nice pitch email to a candidate seeking interest for a job. It can even help you craft some screening questions which are much more nuanced and can help you filter the best candidates for a job. We are bringing in a new recruiting assistant for you in Recruiter Flow called RFGPT and it can do all this and more. Let me walk you through this feature in this video. RFGPT is available in all the candidate profiles in Recruiter Flow. You can just click on any candidate profile. So I'm opening Sheldon's profile over here and head to the top right corner of the profile. You'll find RFGPT there and just click on that. So as soon as I do that, you'll be introduced to RFGPT with a nice message showcasing four major functions you can execute with this new feature. So let me walk you through these uh, execution steps one by one. So let's start with the candidate summary. So whenever you're pitching a candidate to a job or whenever you're pitching a candidate to a hiring manager, you would want to add a summary of the candidate inside the pitch, right? Or, you know, let's say if you want to even share it internally, everybody asks for a summary. What's the brief about the candidate? What's the experience education? If you want to write the summary manually, it's going to take tons of time. Instead, you can just choose to write the summary using RFGPT by just clicking on this button over here. So when you do that, RFGPT will take a moment and craft a nice summary. So as you can see over here. And now, most interestingly, you can make changes by chatting with RFGPT. For example, let's say, uh, make the initial paragraph shorter and add some bullet points. Just click enter. And based on your inputs, RFGPT will revamp the summary. Now you can change the tone of the summary by choosing a tone from the drop down. You can copy the summary and share it externally in your chats like Google Chat, your Microsoft Teams, Slack, etc. You can choose to regenerate it. There are also options to shorten the text, to remove personally identifiable information from the summary. Super crucial if you're using it in MPC. And finally, you also have the option to save the summary. So when I click on save summary, so RFGPT will save the summary inside the profile and you will find it over here right beneath the candidate's picture and its name. So if you click on read more, you'll be able to read the entire summary. If you want to edit it, just head to edit here and then make some changes, hit update. The summary will be saved to the profile. We are also working on adding the summary field in multiple uh, places in the flow like your MPC, your email templates, client portal, your uh, public profile and in many other places you will find it rolled out soon in the coming next weeks so if you want to start a new chat and uh, execute some other functions you can just click on new chat here you'll be again shown the four major functions of rfgpt and let's say if i want to pitch a job to a candidate just click on pitch job to candidate Based on what jobs the candidate has added in it will show you these options here but if you want a new job just click on no specific job and the drop down will open up over here. You can just start typing what job you want to pitch for. And let's say I want to pitch for the theoretical physics research intern. So I'm going to click on that and just hit generate pitch. So RFGPT will now again take some time, come up with a nice pitch. And let's say, okay, this is too short. Let me make some changes here. So now I'm asking RFGPT to add it in three paragraphs based on you know in the first paragraph the intro the second paragraph about the job uh, third paragraph is going to be seeking a time for a call so i'm just gonna play hit enter now now again rfgpt will take a moment and then come up with a nice email so as you can see there are three paragraphs and both the all the three paragraphs are talking uh, different things so let's say i also to add a subject line to this Voila, there is a subject line added. Now there are, uh, there's an option for you to even draft the email. Just click on draft an email and the email window will open up with the subject line and the email be populated. You can make the changes over here or you can just choose to hit send the sender's address and the to address will already be added. You can do that. And if you want to again, start a new chat and execute something more again, click on new chat over here. And let's say now I want to create screening questions. So the idea over here is initially what you used to do is you look at the JD, you look at the candidate's profile and you try to figure out what are the best set of questions that I can ask to ensure that this candidate is a good fit, right? 
but uh, doing it at scale is challenging. You usually used to have some predefined set of questions to ask in a screening round, but now you can get much more nuanced questions using RFGPT. I'll show you how. Just click on create screening questions. So RFGPT will look at the JD of the job as well as the candidate's profile. It will ask for the job over here. So let's say now I want to pitch, sorry, now I want screening questions for cybersecurity specialist. So I'm going to click on that. It will take a moment again and then come up with five questions for the job and the profile. Now let's say add two more questions based on the candidates experience with cyber security. So now I've asked RFGPT to come up with some more questions around experience. So here are two more questions now. If you want to, let's say, make a list of five such questions. Enter. Now I have five questions here. Now there are two options for you. Uh, you can either open it as a note in the candidate's profile and save it for future use. Or let's say if you want it real time, you're already in a call and you're talking to the candidate, you have made this list of questions. You can just open it as a call log. Uh, the call log window will open up. You can choose the outcome over here, connected. You can in real time, whatever answer the candidate shoots, just start entering it and then you can log a call over here. The call will be logged. That's it. This is how you can create screening questions now. Now there is another major function which you can execute using RFGPT, which is get candidate insights. So imagine this, uh, Monday morning, your manager comes and asks you that, hey, uh, I want the uh, insights on the top three candidates we have in our agency right now. What are you going to do? You're going to look at all the profiles. You're going to look at the history and everything and then write something up, right? But now you can just head to RFGPT, click on get candidate insights and RFGPT will look at the entire profile, the job history, the communication history and craft this neat little table for you. You can later just copy it you can share it via email, you can share it via your quick chats like Slack, Google Teams, and sorry, Microsoft Teams and Google Chat. So this becomes much more easy for you and you will save tons of time. So that's pretty much RFGPT for you. You have these four major functions which are with additional uh, capabilities on top. Now uh, we are coming up with RFGPT for other places in Jekyll Flow as well, like contacts, companies, and jobs. Uh, we'll be coming up with the jobs thing next, I mean this month, which is September. So uh, if you have any feedback, if you have any questions regarding this, feel free to shoot an email to us and we'll be happy to help you. And if you need anything else, you know where to come. See you then. Have fun with RFGPT.